Yeah. Right, so what are we doing? Well, yeah, so like I said, I have always wanted a fringe. Okay, but... this, is this your kind of yes. thing? Okay, cool. And when you say fringe, what do you, have you got any images or any ideas or what I you... I don't. I've always okay. wanted to have like a full, okay. like full fringe, cool. but I've just never known... I don't know when people say, "Oh, you've got to do this based on the shape of your face." I don't know what shape my face is. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what looks good and what doesn't. Okay. Cool. So if we go back to basics first yes. of all, and then I work from there. So do you? How do you style your hair normally on a daily basis? Well, you... I have to tie it up for work. Okay. Um, but outside of that, usually just leave it. Like I probably add a few more curls into okay. it. But this is—I haven't done anything to this. So is this just this is natural left to do its thing? Yeah. Okay. Nice. But that's your daily kind of thing. You might add a little bit, but nothing too much more. Yeah. And then if you tie it up, do you have to kind of tie it all away? Um, no, there can be bits out. Okay. I just have to have it up. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. Okay. So if you had a shape where we cut something in that it did fall out, you'd be happy with that? Yeah. Okay, cool. So when you say full fringe, you mean like, do you always wear glasses? Yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. So do you mean like literally like that sort yeah, of vibe? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, what do you like about that? Or do you want me to tell you what I think would work? Yeah. Because it, if, you're, if, you're wearing, if you're wearing your hair, if you, this is your kind of default and you do this a lot, looking at your hairline, you could definitely have a full fringe, but it, it would kind of, it would get a little bit misconstrued with this sort of shape. Mm -hmm. So what I think would be good for you is to create a fringe that you can wear forward if you want, but you can also push to the side as well. Okay. And it kind of is a bit more versatile rather than being too kind of like that. Yeah. So you, so you fully kind of cover your forehead if you want to, but you can open it up as well. Okay. Just so, because yeah. this, your hair is so nice, <laughs> you end up with this like bulk over here. Yeah, so it's it's kind always, of that's always the problem. Breaking this up and creating a <laughs> shape because yeah. you're so much over. But you kind of always do that and then that, do you? Yeah, okay, cool. But then that is because I haven't really done anything. No, like that's that. fine. That's fine. So I think for you then, so I think here what we'll do is do like a bit of like a, a versatile fringe. So are you happy to lose a bit of this? Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. To really make, because it just feels like a, an amount of hair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To really make something of it like shape wise. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay, cool. So what would be really nice is we'll shape it up so you get like that sort of vibe. Really nice. Yeah. But underneath it, if you blow dry it this way, you'll, it'll sit really nicely. But underneath it, if you blow dry it forward, you'll get like a, a fringe fringe. Okay. Which even That's when you push cool. over like here, will look really, really nice. Okay. And that'll just break this shape up a little bit. Yeah. Then what we can do is slightly layer and just soften some of these areas. So you get a little bit more movement, especially if you wear like the curl. Do you like, you like the curl to it? Yeah. Yeah. So you can get a bit more life and texture out of it. Yeah. Because so you like it being sort of... You, that doesn't feel right to you. <laughs> that you feel like you want to have a bit more yeah, to it, yeah? yeah? Cool. And then lengthwise, what, what do you sort of feel? So every time I've had it cut before, I always get it cut really short okay. because I don't do it very often. But I don't know whether that's the right idea when you're going with that shape. No, the I think the length that it is is really nice. Mm -hmm. So I would personally, I would tidy what needs to be tidied. Yeah. But with your hair, because it's curly, to kind of accentuate and make a bit more out of it, it needs kind of cutting into it slightly yeah. to kind of make it a bit more varied. Mm -hmm. And that's basically what we need to do. So we need to soften this a little bit so you get a little bit more like that, yeah. a little bit more like that, and it just feels a bit more. Really it good. almost makes it feel a bit longer <laughs> if you do that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So you get a bit more of that kind of to it. So it doesn't feel too triangular kind of vibe. It would yeah. be really nice. Yeah. So it's kind of tidying this, softening it creating a bit more life and love to this, but so you can do that or wear it forward. Okay, and it yeah. works really nicely, glasses wise, mm -hmm. we tie up, that's good. I mean, you don't ever move it away from the shape. You don't sort of push it over this way or push it in the center. You always, that's your kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, that would look really, really nice. So it's overall, it's keeping the length, but just restructuring it all. Yeah. And making you feel like you've got a different haircut. Yeah. <laughs> is that, is that sound, yeah, yeah. is that yeah, cool? That yeah, that sounds good, yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Right, let's sort you out.